Hi, my name is Dr. Jed Gordon, and I'm the Director of Interventional Pulmonology and a member of the Division of Thoracic Surgery at the Swedish Cancer Institute and Medical Center in Seattle, Washington. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the diagnosis and staging of lung cancer. This includes the types of lung cancer, the stages of lung cancer, the importance of staging an individual's lung cancer before beginning treatment, and the diagnostic services that we have to offer here at the Swedish Cancer Institute. The thoracic oncology team is a multidisciplinary team made up of radiologists, pathologists, oncologists, radiation oncologists, pulmonologists, interventional pulmonologists, and thoracic surgeons. We are all here to work together with you as a team to make sure you get the best care possible as you go through your cancer treatment. Here at the Swedish Cancer Institute, we use a multidisciplinary approach that allows us to work through the diagnosis process from multiple angles to make sure that both the diagnosis and prescribed therapy fit each individual patient. Instead of forcing patients into a predetermined set of guidelines, we individualize every treatment plan based on what is best for you and your specific disease. We have something to offer all patients at all stages, whether the goal of treatment is to cure or to maintain quality of life. We feel it is important to take all patients at all levels of cancer, find out what their needs are, and tailor therapy accordingly. That doesn't necessarily mean we can cure all patients. It just means that we are here to support all patients in whatever their needs are and work as a team to give our patients the best care possible. Lung cancer is a major problem that faces Americans today. Though lung cancer is associated with smoking-related disease, it is also a problem that is growing among non-smokers. Lung cancer is a non-discriminating disease that crosses race, ethnicity, and gender. Our team works with all different kinds of people at all different stages of lung cancer to help them deal with their disease in the way that is right for them. The Swedish Cancer Institute is a referral center for patients who have abnormal CT or CAT scans and abnormal x-rays. Patients come in usually referred to us by their primary care office or by the emergency room and meet with one of the members of our team. The new patient will then have a workup and your physician, along with the rest of the team, will determine if there is a cancer present and what the next steps are in staging and treating it. Lung cancer falls into two large categories based on the cell type that is abnormal, either non-small cell carcinomas or small cell carcinomas. Non-small cell carcinomas include two predominant subtypes, adenocarcinoma, which is a tumor of the glandular tissue, and squamous cell carcinoma, which is a tumor of the lining of the lung. For the most part, the management of the different subtypes of non-small cell carcinoma is very similar, which is why they are grouped together under one name. The other major type of lung cancer is called small cell carcinoma which tends to be managed differently than non-small cell carcinomas. It is important that we understand the type of cancer so that we can direct the therapy that is most appropriate and known to be most successful, whether that be chemotherapy, radiation, surgery, or a combination of some or all of the above. The key to managing cancer is to try to determine the actual stage of the cancer which is an understanding of the amount and location of disease which is present. This includes investigating which type of lung cancer is present, where that disease has spread, and whether the cancer solely involves the lung, the lymph nodes in the lung, or it has spread to distant sites. It is critical to understand this relationship so that we can appropriately treat patients. If a patient is understaged, then they may go on to have treatment that is unnecessary to them and will not benefit them. If we overstage them, then that patient is denied a potentially curative therapy. It is critical that we accurately stage patients so that we can tailor the therapy to each individual patient. Cancer falls in stages one 
through four, with one being the lowest burden of disease and four being the highest. By determining the stage of cancer, the physician is getting more information to help the team develop treatment for each specific patient. To adequately stage a patient, we use all of the technologies available that are appropriate for that patient. Our team includes a wide range of specialties, and the staging technologies that we have available to us also cover a wide spectrum. This doesn't mean that each technique is used for each patient, just that we have a lot of options to work with. There are a wide variety of techniques for staging lung cancer, starting with the non-invasive techniques. We have CT imaging, which allows us to identify the masses in the chest and if they affected the lymph nodes. We also use positron emission tomography scans, commonly called PET scans, which allow us to look at where the body uses energy and whether or not there appears to be aggressive abnormal cell growth within the chest and the rest of the body. We use conventional bronchoscopy, a minimally invasive technique to look at the lungs through an instrument inserted down the airway. There are also more advanced kinds of bronchoscopy, such as coupling bronchoscopy with ultrasound to allow us to see through the airway wall. A combination of bronchoscopy and ultrasound allow your physician to see structures outside the airway, including lymph nodes and blood vessels. These techniques avoid disturbing blood vessels and other vital organs and allow for safer, directly visualized needle biopsies or tissue samples of lymph nodes and other structures near the airway. In addition to different kinds of bronchoscopy, our team can do surgical mediastinoscopy for safe and complete evaluation of the mediastinum, which is the group of organs in the area of your body from your chest to your back and from your neck to your diaphragm. This includes making a small incision at the base of the neck and looking behind the breastplate with a hollow instrument to which a video camera is attached. This allows us to find the lymph nodes located in the upper part of the mediastinum, along the trachea, and the origin of the main bronchi, and to take a biopsy to provide the pathologist with material for analysis. Chest x-rays and CT scans are commonly obtained in the course of medical care and emergency room visits. As a result, many abnormalities are found, and we specialize in determining if these are cancerous or non-cancerous. Studies have suggested that pulmonary nodules, small collections of tissue, are found in nearly 25 out of 100 ex-smokers who get a CT scan of the lung. Not all of these will be cancerous, so a thorough review of these abnormal scans is required. If a tissue sample is required to confirm a cancer diagnosis, we can use a specialized bronchoscopy technique that uses electromagnetic navigation. This operates a lot like the GPS guidance system in your car to allow us to navigate and find small lesions in the lung. Using this advanced technique allows us to safely and accurately sample small lung lesions and differentiate between cancer and non-cancer. Our interventional radiology team also has the ability to perform transthoracic needle aspirations of nodules, both within and outside the lung. This technique includes using a fine needle to remove cells or tissue for examination and is considered a minor surgical procedure instead of having to perform open surgical biopsy. Furthermore, we can perform surgical camera-assisted biopsies if required, assuring that each patient gets what is needed for them. Again, this doesn't mean that each patient gets all of these things, just that we have a lot of options to work with. The depth and breadth of our team allows for each physician to focus on their specialty while still offering our patients the widest range of staging technologies available. Here at the Swedish Cancer Institute, the most important member of your Swedish oncology team is you. After you have been staged by our team of physicians, your treatment plan, whether the goal of treatment is to cure or to maintain quality of life, will be developed based on your diagnosis and what you want individually. We are here to help you through your cancer diagnosis and everything that follows. We know that not all patients are diagnosed at an early stage. It is our goal and our commitment to continue to hone our skills at identifying at-risk patients and detecting them early. But our philosophy is to help 
every patient through lung cancer and identify both their treatment needs and attend to their personal wishes for cancer care. From the time you are told you have an abnormal x-ray to the time a diagnosis is made and a treatment plan is created, you will be supported by a team that will be here for your medical needs. Though it may not be the same physician who takes care of you throughout your whole course here at Swedish, you will never be left without a team of people who are here to support you through your cancer and beyond. Please refer to our website for more detailed information. We can be found at www.swedishthoracicsurgery.org. On behalf of the entire thoracic surgery team here at Swedish Medical Center, thank you so much for listening to our podcast, Introduction to Lung Cancer Surgery, Diagnosis and Staging.